Hello everybody, it's Mike Levin from MikeLevinSEO.com and on the last video, the observant among you might have noticed that uh, when I ran Python Gropy to make sure it was still running and I was expecting to see two dictionaries, one for foo and one for bar, I actually saw three dictionaries. One for that original dictionary of dictionary entry that I made that I have subsequently uh, abandoned as a way of uh, structuring things, but it's still in there because the shell of object is persistent. So let's fix that. We can exit out. Now notice we're not seeing the names next to those uh, dictionary objects. We're not seeing their keys. So it'll be helpful to see their keys as a first step. And we can do that here in sort of the old school way where it's just going to go uh, item plus colon space quote and this is uh, how appending together uh, a string which is the key to the dictionary and I know that this is actually going to create an error and let me run it without even dropping out to a shell we can do that same write but instead of writing to the hard drive we will write it to Python And hey, look at that. Can't convert dict object to string implicitly. Hit enter to continue. So the dictionary object here is this guy. So we're going to put string in there. And now we should, in fact, see key names next to our dictionaries. There we go. We've got a D rows, we've got a bar, and we've got a foo. We want to delete D rows. But before I do that, I'm going to show you how to do that print statement even better. Uh, I call this old school because you've got to insert str and you've got to do these plus signs and append things and open and close quotes. And no one likes to do that sort of stuff anymore. So I'm just going to yank that and paste it to have a copy of it around. And I will turn the first one into a comment so you can compare the techniques before and after. So what I'm about to do is feed a tuple back into a formatting string object. So this is already conveniently shaped like the tuple that I need. So I'm just going to XXXXXXX and make it item, comma, dictionary. And there's our, our nice little uh, tuple, right? Now, I haven't even talked about tuples yet in Python, but it's like a list. It's like a, uh, a list that you can't add and delete stuff from. But it doesn't make sense next to the print statement. What we're doing now is we're going to put a string and then the replace symbol in between them. And then I'm going to insert two things to be replaced percent s colon space percent s and that means convert a uh, do a do a conversion of the corresponding tuple location into a string value I could have also put D in there for uh, decimal but compare the lower line to the upper line you've got a string with formatting commands the replace token and then the tuple items that are going to be inserted back into that. Now this might actually work, but for the sake of seeing how tuples are supposed to be presented, I'm actually going to put the parentheses around the items that constitute the tuple. So these inner parentheses, that's a list. Key, column, dictionary, item. These outer parentheses belong to the print function. So let's save that and let's save it piping it into Python. Hey, like we uh, wanted. Uh, that's working exactly as intended. And now we know we want to delete the entry in the database with the key D rows. And as things are in Python, it is exactly as you would expect. I'll do it here where we uh, insert these keys. I'm just going to 
do O, and I'll do Del, and it's uh, D rows. And on the first running of this, it should work like a charm, and then the output should just be the two uh, dictionaries beneath of it. Those should be the output. And on the second time we run it, we'll probably get an error because of a key violation because we're trying to delete something that's not there anymore. So W and W into Python. Can't delete literal. Oh yes, it's S uh, D rows. I put the index without the uh, what it's really deleting. I'm deleting the D rows index of the S object. Success. Now let's try running it immediately again and see if we get the index error. Yes, the index error. So we'll put a try in there. This is probably not going to last, but nested tries, try. Accept, pass. Voila, uh, we get the two uh, dictionary uh, objects as our output, showing us their keys, foo and bar, and we don't get an error for trying to delete that other key out there because it's in a, uh, a try, and it's nested tries, which is really bad form. So I'm gonna keep this video and uh, this code intact on the next commit, and then we'll go through the, uh, the cleaning up of it. This is part of the organic growth of a project, and uh, I get to illustrate a lot of things, like it's bad to put multiple things in one try, and then it's doubly bad to nest your tries, but I'm doing it anyway to show you it's possible in Python, and we're going to try and avoid it to make uh, debugging in the future much easier. So thanks for joining me. Hope to talk to you soon, and please subscribe.